How are you? I have an STI. Lord have mercy. Why do I feel scared? But I'm just alone in this house. I prayed. But why? I think God is not with me. I'm not going to turn off the lights. How just sleep like this? Maybe it will help. Yes. Continue fearing me. I know you can overcome me by your faith and fire. You have been given. I don't want you to know that you are a frame of fire. At least I still have time to destroy you. So how did you sleep today? It's all the same. I slept with the lights on again. I was scared. This is a very serious issue. So what are you going to do? I will get used sleeping in the light. Don't worry. My daughter. How have you been? A little brave. Mama. Today we are having a prayer meeting. Please. Don't go to sleep. Prayer meeting? But mom. Are we not going to disturb demons? I don't think I will manage. I'm not doing the prayer. After all nothing happens. Just go. Leave me alone. I'm nothing. I'm a loser. I'm not worth to be God's son. I'm a sinner. No. Don't say that. God loves you. You just have to realize who you are. I don't have a job. I can't even walk right now. I'm drunk. Please. Just leave. Please? But. I can't leave you alone. My brother. I can't. It's dark. Let's go home together before it's too late. You're so stubborn. Can't you see life isn't fair? If it wasn't for Uncle Boney, we would be living in streets. Uncle Boney may be our breadwinner, but it's all God's grace. Life isn't hard. God takes care of us. Now why are we suffering? God would have just lifted us from poverty. I blame God. You can't say that. You're bramming God. When all you do is get drunk and hung with young girls, you should be working by now. If it wasn't your foolishness, I would have been in college by you. What's wrong with you? It's your God. He made life hard for us. Where is he? How can he hear you? When you don't give time for God. And here you are. Complaining. I feel sorry. He doesn't answer our prayers. Nothing happens. I still have a headache that I was praying for since last month. Where is the healing? You have gone too far. God have mercy. Do you know that a prayer made with faith can heal the sick? Don't you know that God can use you to bless others? You are an instrument for God. But look, an instrument of God is getting drunk and busy fornicating. Is it making sense? How can your headache get healed? You think it's easy to be like Prophet T.B. Joshua? Or like Elijah to be precise? I don't have those superpowers. They're not just superpowers. It's the grace of God. So stop complaining and let's go home. Yes. Continue complaining. I don't want you to know who you are. You will never know that you are a frame of fire. A true servant of God. I don't want you to know that you are able to destroy these barriers I planted in your family. Since 1902. Failure. Drunkenness. Sexual immorality. Unbelief. You people are mine. Until I destroy. If only you knew that God is hearing your little conversation. Continue having unbelief. Where are the sniffs? I can't live without them. Relax. I have it. Just give me the money. Have sent. $48 in your account. Thank you. Oh I'm so addicted to this stuff. I could have killed you in 5 seconds. But God's grace is too sufficient for you guys. Just wait. It's time. I will destroy you. Only if you knew who you are. You would renounce this addiction. Because. It is what gives me power to overcome you. Stupid man. Why is it that when it gets dark? This bedroom becomes creepy. 
I start to feel scared. I think I won't turn off the lights. Yes. Good. If only you knew that you are more powerful in the dark. You think a light bulb can save you? Continue fearing me. And it will give me more opportunity to give you nightmares. Some of you idolize the light bulb. You trust it. Then Jesus is light. Stupid girl. This bed will be my altar. I will sleep with you. I will even call my friends to be your spiritual husband. Because we have power over you. If only you knew that your prayers can break our altars. We will torment you even the more. Slowly by slowly. My friends will enter you. One by one. Until you are destroyed. You won't realize anything. Because you are in physical. If only you knew how many angels God sends to protect you. But you create barriers for them. And allow us in. Because you don't pray. Just wait and see. Oh no. This is becoming worse. Yes. Very good. You only have five days to die from rheumatic heart disease. Congratulations. You just made a ticket to hell with me. I told you. With this addiction. You are mine. So baby. I am still waiting. Let's go again. Baby. You are too overhyped. Why don't you take some fresh air? I'll let you know. You know that it's my daily bread. Please. Let's go. I think you are becoming a slave. Can't you control yourself? I love you. What do you expect? Nice one. Continue talking about worldly lustful conversations. In that way the presence of the Holy Spirit is not there. If only you meditate Galatians 5 verse 22, you would have had self-control. Just wait and see. I am glad you have joined us for prayer. As we wait for your mom and dad, how is your prayer life? Yeah, it's fine. What is this I'm seeing? What is that? Apostle Daddy? Fear. Please. Today we will pray against spirit of fear. Otherwise, it will destroy you and your family. Emily, you have to know who you are. You are a frame of fire. With Christ you are stronger in the dark. Listen. Don't give the devil a chance to attack you. Don't show fear. Show faith and believe. They're scared of you. This is why they don't want you to know who you are. Otherwise, you can break altars. Emily, you are an evangelist. Don't fear. Don't fear? No. You spirit of fear. I command you, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, fire, fire, I cover this room with the blood of Jesus, I cover this room with the blood of Jesus, I cover this room with the blood of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Ouch, ouch, stop, why, who told you the truth, ouch. Holy Ghost fire. Fine, I'm going. I'm going. The Holy Ghost is too much. Ouch. Thank you, Jesus. I can't believe it. The fear is gone. Thank you, Jesus. My daughter, welcome. Don't worry. I'm with you. Don't get carried away. Young man, it's being long. How are you? I have an STI. Lord have mercy. I can see. You almost ruined your life. You did good to come here. Are you ready? Yes. Man of God, help me. In Jesus name, be free. Ouch. Why? I lost another soul? Your stupid master. He doesn't quit. His grace has saved him. Yes. Who are you speaking? I'm a generational spirit. Have been. Giving people fear, failure, lust, alcoholism, and more. Who are you? 
A stupid man? Stop that nonsense. Come out. Fire. Fire. In Jesus' name. And all those you have afflicted. Leave them alone. Today I witness. The grace of God. That millions all over the world are set free. Leave them. Fire. Out. In Jesus' name. A H A J J J J J H. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. I'm going. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up, my boy. How are you? I feel okay. No pain. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Yes, my friend. Go and sin no more. And all those who watched this video at the end, God be with you. Remember Jesus is willing. Just open your heart.